this guy's a moron. I have Elon Musk blocked. What was the whole point of that blue tick? So let's talk about the bomb musketeer. I'm calling him the bomb musketeer. That's what I'm calling this, this dude, man. I'm calling him the bomb musketeer. You see, I don't care about SpaceX. I don't care about Tesla. I don't care about any of the stuff. What I care about is stuff that affects me directly, which is a social media platform that I use. And I've used for a very long time. And it was an amazing social media platform. And something that this bomb musketeer has come and ruined. You've essentially ruined it. And you see, there are many things that he's done that has made it trash. So I'm going to talk about two of these changes. One that's recent, which is the one that has really much spawned everybody going to a blue sky. And yes, I do have, have, have blue sky. And I'll talk about your boy, Jack Dorsey. But I want to just talk even before him changing the block function, which, which, is, which is crazy. And by the way, I haven't blocked. But no, guys, we'll get there. I'll cook. I'll cook. Have, have a meal and a drink. We're, 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 we're going to cook. We're going to cook. One of the biggest, one of the dumbest things this moron has did was verify. You see, this is when you're... you're Stupid. That's your you're really a dimwit. What was the whole point of that blue tick? Oh, he's verified. So you had all of us standard users. Whenever you saw that blue tick, that's really um CNN. That's really uh 50 cents. That is really Michael Jordan. That is really IGN. That is really uh whoever you want to follow. That, 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 that's really J. Cole. That's really Kendrick Lamar. That's really Drake. All of this other institutions. Oh, that's really Al Jazeera. That's it really Reuters. So if you had some kind of thing that says, oh, Reuters, one, two, four, five, it didn't have the take. Oh, no. That's obviously a dummy account. So until you see Reuters or you see Al, Je Al Jazeera with that blue tick, you know it's real. And it was simple. So when I went through the timeline and someone says a new source and they don't have a take, I'm like, okay. I'm going to take this with a grain of salt because this is just some random dude saying this stuff. So, okay, I don't know the strong If I see someone says with a blue tick, still do your due diligence. But as somebody who worked for a news company before, when you work for a news company before, you put out a tweet. You have to go through your program editor, your editor-in-chief, and it has to be properly vetted before the company and institution Puts the stuff out there. So some random guy called 1234 putting out a tweet about COVID is very different from the Al Jazeera verified putting out a tweet on COVID. So it was simple. This moron. I mean, I'm bring on this, this, this one. This dimwit comes in. And what does dimwit do? No. Things should, should change and things should, should, should be should be proper. Um, let us, you know, um, the regular people should have the most privileges as the cele celebrities. So this moron thinking that he's now doing something to help the little people. Now every time I see a blue tick, I'm like, oh, everyone can now get a blue tick if they pay for it. So now what's used to be a tick is now really the golden tick. So once you now see the golden tick or like a silver tick, that is someone that's verified. But it's confusing. So for a long time, I was like, oh, blue tick. But oh no, he really has like 50 followers. Oh, oh no, blue tick boy, this guy's just mentioning rubbish. So you destroyed what was so clear because Jack Dorsey, who understands how to run a platform and understands things that make sense, knew that no, those ticks are for the celebrities, the news organizations, and for all of us regular people, we are just regular people. Unless you are of somebody who has enough of a following in the world, then you can now get a verified blue tick. It's made sense. It worked. It's made sense and it worked. You know, like when Dorsey was doing Twitter, it's everything made sense. The ticks 
what the timeline was about. It all made sense. And let's go to the other point, which is block. I have Elon Musk blocked. So Musk, you, the guy who create who no, oh, oh, no, 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 you didn't create nothing. You just took over all the hard work that Jack Dorsey did. So please, no, you didn't create anything. So you, who is now the the brick owner of Twitter, I have you blocked because you're a, a moron. And why do I want to have you blocked? I don't want to see your tweets. I don't want to see anything doing with you. That's the whole point of the block feature. Whether it's block or mute, I want nothing to do with you. So when you try to view any of my tweets, it's, it's, it should say, you're blocked. But he's not saying that if you have public po posts, even those people who you have blocked can still see your post. Oh, they can't engage with you, but they can still see with you, but no. Because there are many elements here. So let's look at the elements from women. So women who have creeps online and people who want to harass them. For women, it's like, I, stuff that I put out there, especially for people who I'm with, so this may be image, this may be media, I don't want the creeps to view any of that stuff. That, those images or those pictures or that kind of information are for people who I'm cool with. I don't want any of these creeps to view any of the stuff. That's what the whole point is of saying you are blocked from viewing anything to do with me. So why should I now make those certain tweets now private when I actually want them to be for the whole plethora of people and the major public except for those who I have blocked? The other scenario is, Elon, I don't want to say anything that you tweet. Now, I believe that's now works for the mute function, but for Elon Musk, the fact that I have you blocked means that I don't want to see any of your public tweets. You're blocked. I don't want to have anything to do with you because you're a moron. So that is the whole point of the block feature where anything to do with you, I don't want to see, I don't want anything to do about because you can then negate. So it's almost what is, you're negating the whole point of the block feature. Because what you want to see is if you now have, let's say um, person X has you blocked. When you now go to them, all you see is you have been blocked. You can't read any other tweets. You can view any of the information. No pictures. You have been blocked. But what is that? Okay, this person has blocked you, but I can still see their public tweets. Do you know how moronic that is? Do you know how stupid that is? It's freaking stupid. So which is what I look, see? I've joined the Blue Sky. So Blue Sky is like the Twitter alternative. Lots of people who migrated from Twitter left them because of what that more musketeer was doing. I believe this was launched by Dor Dorsey. Here's the thing. I've, I have joined it out of protest. I still have to use Twitter. I don't know whether the heck... heck oh, and another... See, there's so many stuff. Um, X. <clears throat> Do you know how dumb that is calling it X? Twitter is a freaking great name. Hey, tweets, tweets, tweets. Who says, oh, I'm going to, um, have you, do you read my ex? Oh, or your ex as in your ex-wife? No, no, my ex. Wait, ex as in ex videos? When, especially on the internet, when you say ex, the first thing you think of is porn. I'm sorry. Pornography has been on the internet way before social media. So the moment you say ex, that's ex videos. That's porn. That's adult film. So X already has that name fully, 100% unlock on the internet. So by you changing from Twitter to X, it's, it sounds stupid. Hence why, I, for me, A, I even sound stupid. Even people saying X, formerly Twitter, it sounds stupid. So I don't care of any legalities. It's Twitter. And it will always be called Twitter and I'm never calling it X. But the thing though is, Blue Sky, it's going to be tough to gain a following there from Blue Sky. But I think the more, because the more and more the, mo the bombast musketeer makes his dumbass changes, the more people will say, okay, let's view some alternatives. My hope is Blue Sky is pretty much what can be close to what Twitter is. So, somewhat close. It's going to be hard because let's be real right now. The next big thing right now is tech TikTok. See, there's always a new thing because obviously growing up, <laughs> now 
I'm not sure if it's my age. I told you this is my own age. MySpace. MySpace was a brick. MySpace was garbage. Okay, MySpace. Like looking back now, my just as that's all that we had. So we're, oh my gosh, this is so cool. But MySpace was trash. But really, MySpace was really for music and to put out your music. So we, so it was from MySpace, then to Facebook. Now, Facebook was huge because it was well made. It was properly done, well organized. So Facebook was like, wow, this is amazing. And Facebook did this thing going through and then came YouTube. And then YouTube was what? Because remember, YouTube was like, we're now bringing in videos. And we're now allowing creators like myself to now be able to have a career on YouTube, which I'm now thankful of. So once YouTube was there, but then now came in Twitter, which was a different kind of alternative to YouTube because it was about, okay, you know what? And again, now I don't know whether it was Jack Dorsey or the Musketeer who did, did, did this. Say what you want in 120 characters or less. Beep. Simple. And that's what's made Twitter so unique. I don't want to read a freaking paragraph. I don't have time to read a freaking paragraph. I don't want to see anything that says show more and it's just, it's just a whole bunch of just junk. Think about what you want to say and make sure that you can say it in 120 characters or less. Again, remember, watching, working for a news company, Headline, how, what, how can you grab the audience and tell the story of what you want to say in six words or less, in one sentence? Movies, when you're pitching a, a movie, well, once upon a time, no, 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 I don't, once upon a time, T the log line, tell me what your thing, your story is about in a concise sentence, at most two sentences, go. And that was what made Twitter, so when you looked at the timeline, it was very easy to be like, oh, that's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. Because it was so short and concise. Then it was show more. Then it became expanded and all this crap. Which ruined it. So, but I just feel that. And now TikTok is now the new king. Obviously, Instagram came to the TikTok is now the new, well, the new king. So with Blue Sky, I'm interested to see what is Blue Sky going to do that is unique. You can't just be, hey, we're just an alternative to Twitter. It's got to be something where can you borrow some elements from TikTok, borrow some elements from Facebook, and enhance on the elements you had from Twitter. How can you now get creators to be now a, little, a, a, a bit more involved in this? Because for me, like, look, I'm... See, I'm one of those guys where even before YouTube, I can't remember, I can't remember what this was, but I used to be like on a committee of this um, app. And again, it, it never happened, but I'm one of those guys where I'm always ready to try something new. And I think the beauty of tech is evolve, 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 evolve or, or die, evolve, evolve. So I'm always ready to jump on something new. Snapchat, did this thing, it didn't really happen. So Blue Sky, this can, it's been never just off, but based on just how that bomber's musketeer has ruined Twitter, I'm so ready for an alternative. So I'll always have Twitter based on the following I've, I've had there and because so many people use it. So I'm always going to have it there. But I just think that it is always good just to see where, where everything is now going. Because if we have a situation where we can have mass migration to Blue Sky, it would be great. It's going to be hard because people are... It's very hard for people to go away from something that, has, that is popular, that has loads of people. People love convenience. Because it's blue sky, what is it what's about? But because it's Twitter and you just know it, it's very easy to, to go. So it is this way this one's ended. Do you know what could be big for blue blue sky? Taylor Swift puts out a, a, a tweet. I'm leaving Twitter. I'm joining Blue Sky. Huge. Drake puts out a tweet. I'm leaving Twitter. I'm joining Blue Sky. Um What's it called? Kendrick Lamar puts out a, a tweet. I'm leaving Twitter. I'm joining Blue Sky. If a huge major celebrity or celebrities publicly announce they're leaving Twitter, they're joining Blue Sky, that is the Jetson. So if I was Jack Dorsey or some of those Blue Sky guys, I would actually try to earmark some of the celebrities and say, look at what this guy is doing. And, and that's why I would specifically go for a Taylor Swift because she's a, a woman. She's hugely popular. So the people I, I would go for Beyonce, Taylor Swift. Woman, hugely popular, and this very unpopular um, devolution of the block button, particularly harms women who are trying to avoid creeps and harassers. So if you see a Beyonce or a Taylor Swift are like, we're leaving Twitter because of all this punk moron is doing, 
I'm adjoining blue sky that can actually protect women. Huge, huge uptake in users, man. But the key thing though is, again, I just have to remind you guys that um, this guy's immoral and he's cringe. And you know what this shows? Being rich, having loads of money, doesn't mean that you can't still be cringe, a loser, awkward, or essentially, essentially a bum.